Hello, Hackerbox hackers. We are here at Hackerbox headquarters with another Hackerbox. This month we have Hackerbox number 0039 with the theme Level Up. So let's go ahead and get this box open and see what we're working with this month. Um, first of all, we have a ATX power supply breakout. So this is real convenient because you just plug in your uh, standard ATX power supply and then it breaks out plus minus 12, 5 and 3.3 volts and you have a lot of grounds and there's a power switch on and off. So that's pretty, pretty nice, pretty ready to go. It already has the uh, short in it to turn, tell the power supply that it should be turned on. Um, and then sort of to go with that, we have a, or I should say can easily be used with it. We have a little uh, DC DC power supply here. It has a nice um, LCD screen on it. We'll hook one up here in a second and show you what it looks like. Uh, and this can step down. You can plug, hook it up to the positive 12 volt rail if you'd like. Um, it can take a, up to about 20, 22 volts, I think, input, and then it will output any uh, voltage that you adjust it to. So it's a nice adjustable DC DC converter. Um, it is only a buck converter, so you can't put in, say, five volts and get out eight. It's only going to go down and it has about a, uh, a one volt dropout. So uh, if you do hook it up to the 12, you can adjust from about one to 11 volts. So still pretty useful. And it even has a nice little acrylic case to put it in. So, you know, you won't damage it. It'll look nice on your bench. We have some uh, GSM um, SIM tools, I guess I should say. Which in the U.S. mostly means GSM. Um, we have a uh, USB SIM reader, writer, editor. This is useful if you have a SIM that has some information on it, like phone book or something, and you want to pull it off. And then some adapters to let you insert different size SIMs into a standard SIM slot. And a little SIM popper, popper tool. So these are uh, some nice useful tools to have. We have a kind of a triple solder kit that's for making logic gates from transistors. And so we have the components that are necessary to build it up. Some di two different values of resistors, buttons, some, um, uh, so we have some transistors in here, 10 transistors, I think, uh, NPN transistors and, uh, some green LEDs. And these components will let you build up these six different logic gates, so to speak. And we'll uh, show you a demo of that in a second. You can build them up on these PCBs that have, Nice uh, Hackerbox branded PCBs. And once you build those up, we have a decal that can be broken apart with uh, the symbols and the um, truth tables and names of the gate, uh, different gates, logic gates. So you can put them, you know, on, if you want to mount these on something, we'll, uh, we'll show a demo of that. You have these nice stickers to put with it. So. All right, what else I have here in the box? We have a, have a USB, micro USB breakout that breaks out to screw terminals. And here's a micro USB cable it can be used with that or any of your uh, microprocessor um, boards these days usually have micro USB. So um, this is pretty useful. This is real, real nice for an easy way to just get five volts whenever you need it or anything else you want to do breaking out a uh, USB cable signals. All right, we have a vinyl transfer here. So um, do you want to point out that this is not a sticker. It's actually a vinyl transfer. So it's on a piece of transfer film. So when you take the film off the backing, the black vinyl will stick to it. And then you stick that down on a surface. We'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and show you how to do that here in a minute, give you a demo of it. But, um, <clears throat> you know, don't treat this like a sticker because it's, a, um, you know, it's actually a two, two part process. You uh, peel the, peel the um, transfer paper off, the, the vinyl uh, transfer will stick to it. And then you squeegee it onto a surface and then take the transfer paper off and it'll stay on there. And it looks, uh, it's a very nice finished product. It's, there's no paint on this. It's not like a sticker where it's a white sticker with paint on it. It's a actually solid black vinyl. So it's very durable. It looks pretty cool. It looks very much like a finished commercial product when you're done. And lastly for Hackerbox number 0039, we uh, finally have a Hackerbox challenge coin. We've been talking about making one of these for a while now. And there we go. There it is. That's a big two inch um, antique silver, uh, Challenge coin, Hackerbox logo, cool pirate skull. And on the back, we have our ones and zeros uh, perspective background with some 
uh, nice Latin uh, um, motto there. Very similar to the motto of the United States, right? So, very cool. All right, so that's what we have in the box here for this month. Let's, uh, let's do some demos and see what we've got, uh, got for that. All right, so here's just a quick demonstration of this um, DC-DC converter. Uh, like we said, this here is a, it's a, it's a buck converter. It's very efficient. Um, whatever voltage you put in, you can go up to about a voltage. So this right here is just hooked up to a, a five volt source. And you can see you just use these voltage up and voltage down buttons to, to adjust the voltage in and out. And then the output comes out on these, these ports here. And when you are actually have it hooked up to a load, it'll tell you how much current it's drawing, which is pretty neat. So you can see it'll go up with a five volt input. It'll go up to just over four volts, so that's about a one volt. He's about one volt headroom drop out there. All right, so here's a just a nice demonstration of putting the um, the four uh, uh, transistor based gate logic gates on a like kind of a piece of plaque wood, and uh, makes like for a nice little thing you can hang up in your office, or if you want to do it that way, or you know you can just play with them as the separate boards as well. <clears throat> you can see the uh, as you operate each one. So let's say, for example, the OR gate, the output goes high when either input is high or even when they're both high, and that re is represented by the truth table. Um, and then you have the symbol and also the switching algebra um, that represents it. And you have that for all six of the gates. Um, you know, the uh, buffer and the inverter are gates in quotes. You know, the buffer just gives a buffered version of the input, and the inverter is the opposite of the output. You know, and the, um, you know, so the interesting educational value here, uh, in addition to this just being a cool thing to build up and look at, is that um, uh, in the OR gates, in the OR architecture, the transistors are in parallel. So either of them will allow current to flow from between the voltage rails. Whereas in the end architecture, they're in series, so it requires both of them. So it requires A and B, or X and Y, as it's shown here. Whereas in the OR structure, X or Y will allow current to flow. And then for the NOR gates, they're just connected on the other side of the uh, power so that they're in the inverted output. So then you can see how that inverted structure works just from looking at the buffer and the inverter. So the actual uh, uh, schematic is represented in the silk screen on the board. So like, like, like we said, that's sort of a, a, you know, a nice little educational tool to look at and you know, always have like a, a reminder of how these um, simple logic gates are built up from uh, even simpler transistors. All right, so uh, yesterday when Elon Musk was here, um, he was, made the mistake of turning his back for a second, and we uh, we grabbed his laptop. So, so we're gonna give him, We're gonna hook him up with a Hack Life, our Hack Life transfer. Remember, we said this thing right here was a a, a um, vinyl transfer. It's not actually a sticker. So so let's see how we uh, how we use this. We actually separate the the transfer paper from the backing and that should come off pretty easily and then so now the vinyl is on the transfer paper and we just go ahead and put that wherever we're going to put it over here oh mr musk you are going to love this and then you stick it down and then you squeegee it so like if you were lucky enough to be around from hackerbox 14 you have a hackerbox nfc card which is pretty good for squeegeeing it down you know you can also just rub it rub it on there real good because what you're trying to do is get the get the black vinyl to stick on the final surface and you'll actually see as it sticks down it really it sort of releases from the transfer paper and then take up the transfer paper being careful not to bring any of the black vinyl with it there we go wow it's really giving us a hard time here That's good. We're uh, seeing a, what do you want to call it, like kind of a worst case scenario with these. Oh, there we go. It's coming off easier from this direction. All right. And we have a slightly moist paper towel here we can do to stick it down really well. And then just make sure it's really well attached just like you would with any sticker and now you have vinyl transfer and whatever you transfer it to you're ready to rock the hack life so you can go ahead and stick these uh transfers on any smooth surface for example you know they look pretty nice on on water bottles on um you just can put them on a 
on a window, laptop, on a phone. Yeah. Louis, what else could we stick these on? Elon Musk. Elon Musk. 100%. 100%. <laughs> on your Tesla. On your mirror. On a mirror. Really, yeah, they're, uh, you know, they're stickers, kind of, you know. You can stick them on different things. So, uh, yeah, we just wanted to make sure we showed how to do that transfer because it can be a little tricky. I mean, even when we were squeegeeing down really well, you got to be careful not to lose the... Uh, the vinyl as you uh, take it off the transfer paper. So yeah, that's uh, that's Hackerbox number 0039. We uh, appreciate you tuning in and checking this out. Please um, like, subscribe, follow. Um, check out our website at hackerboxes.com. Till next month, it's been a, been a pleasure. Take care.